All right, what's up everybody? So I had to do some trimming on the BBK. I had to go get a Dremel. So I guess with the mold, the, the IACs or the idle air control valve ports, they come out really sharp with 90 degree angles. So I had to get a Dremel and grind that shit down to make it a nice smooth ramp like the stock one. And then that solved everything. So when I first installed it, I installed it without the spacer and I was getting this sick ass whine and it's more like a whistle and it's fucking annoying. Anytime I would touch the pedal or the throttle, I would get a whistle and I fucking hated it. I was about to throw the shit away. Um, I started looking online, I started talking to my boy Tahoe, my boy Rick, and then we came up with the solution that it had to be those fucking ports. Because when I disconnected the idle air control valve, the when I disconnected it, it wouldn't do it at all. Like it would stall, but it wouldn't whine or it wouldn't whistle at all. So now that I ported it, it shit's running like a fucking champ. The throttle, is a, the throttle response is fucking amazing. And now with the spacer, it's running even better. So yeah, uh, if you're gonna go BBK, and if you have this stock manifold, I would say go with the 56. The other one's gonna be overkill and you're gonna have to port the ISO intake manifold to match. This is perfect because this matches with the spacer and the spacer is a little bit bigger than the manifold but i'd rather it be bigger than smaller so that way i don't get any more edges so the whistle went away the only time i hear it is when i let go of throttle and that's it which i don't mind that at all but yeah for the most part it's running like a champ um, i have a new dryer a new uh, compressor this hose, this whole assembly, and then a new orifice tube coming next week. So that way the AC will be tip top shape for this summer. And yeah, uh, that's about it. And then I ordered, sorry, so here's what happened. I ordered, well here, I'll show you guys, hold on. So I ended up ordering the intake manifold, the Edelbrock one. And it arrived this week, but I noticed that it didn't come with a EO carb sticker for California. So I took it over to the small guy and he said that there's no way I can pass smog with this. So, you know, that's gonna be a hassle and I don't feel like dealing with that shit. So that's gonna go back. And the original one's gonna just stay. I mean, it's. There's nothing wrong with it. it does the job. Uh, when I had the engine rebuilt, it's ported and polished, so, I mean, it's, if not better, equally as good as the Edelbrock one. I don't care what anybody says. So yeah, that's the BBK. Uh, I wanted to film the Dremeling and all that, but I don't know, it was just bugging me all day at work. I couldn't think straight. I dropped like fucking four cases of beer just thinking about this shit all day but yeah worked like a champ came home got right to it and yeah it fixed everything so if you guys are going bbk make sure you watch out for those sharp edges so yeah this is a bbk throttle body on a ford 5.0 302